as I learned throughout my years of boxing when I was younger, the trainers always told me if you if you watched who the who the trainers thought was the best person, you knew because it wasn't the person they talked about the most, and it wasn't the person that they you know that they bragged about. It was the person that they harped on the most. It was the person that they were constantly critiquing and whatnot. And they would get in your face and they would challenge you and they would do all these things. But it really taught me a lesson that the point of this is that if they see potential in you, then they, they will enhance it. And that's their job and whatnot. So when I got to the film connection, I started with a mentor named Peter Foldy and he's amazing. And what he does for me is he provides that type of challenge almost where I told him full disclosure. I said, here's the point. I don't want any... Any type of coddling, any type of uh, you know of niceness, basically. Give me all the constructive criticism you you can, plus some more. And he had an abundance of it, of course, as a first-time writer that I was. But I didn't take it as a bad thing. When I first off, I would send him these these uh, samples of the first ten pages of a script I was working on. And you know, I felt obviously that it was the most beautiful thing that I have ever created. All these type of uh, things. But he would send back all these notes full of full of uh, red ink, basically, and you know I, I can understand where people would have the immediate reaction to say, you know, wow, well, what does this person know, or you know, they don't understand what I was trying to do with it, blah blah blah. But the point is, is that they see what you don't see because they have been there. They are doing what you are trying to do, so you need to listen to them. So I took that attitude and I applied what he said uh, word for word, verbatim. I didn't pick and choose little parts that I thought would be you know comfortable to me I did what was not comfortable I pushed myself to the limit and I took every single piece of advice he gave me even the ones that I thought were incorrect and I applied them to you know every page and every word that he said and it really uh, sharpened and turned my right into something that that I never thought I could even do and throughout the first couple of weeks it was it was a kind of give-and-take relationship where I would I would give ideas and you would or I would, I would, I would, you know, show him these ideas, and he would give me all this feedback that I didn't think was right. But I knew in the bottom of my heart that if you just trust the trainer or trust the mentor, then they will get you to a place because they see the potential. They will get you to a place where you need to be, where you see your own potential. Because I'm sure, as a, as a first time writer or, or as somebody who's the first time in the film connection, you know, you you, you see it from a, a narrow view. You see it through your view. And once, once you start working with the mentors, as I found, uh, you really understand that if you have an open mind, but this is the key, you must have the open mind. If you have the open mind, they can get you to a place just like mine did and is currently doing now because I'm writing an incredible script that he loves. But if you, if you open your mind and you let them come in and you let them give the information that they know and their advice on you, and you take it and you actually apply it and don't just listen to it you actually apply it and study it and understand why they're saying it not just know what they're saying understand it and put it to paper you'll find that everything really works out for the better